Today we are gonna learn how to do some maintenance on your laser module. Hi everybody, my name is Ryan and I am the Laser Noob. So this is the Xtool D110 watt non-pro laser module, okay? Uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take this apart, not all the way apart, but apart enough to clean it, and we're gonna put it back together and do a little test run. So nice and simple, we're gonna show you guys how to take it apart, how to pull everything out, how to clean it, how to put it all back together, reinstall it, and Bob's your uncle, we're all done. So stick around, let's get to work. All right, guys, so here you go. <clears throat> here is my laser module, the, the 10 watt Xtool D1 non-pro. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna need a couple of things. Number one, we're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, we need some Q-tips, a can of compressed uh, gas, uh, same keyboard cleaner, you know, all that, you know, same stuff and uh, some isopropyl alcohol. The Q-tips and the alcohol are basically all that's for, well, the alcohol at least, is just for cleaning the laser lens, the, the protective cover for the laser lens, okay? And we need a couple for cleaning inside the module as well. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our screwdriver, and I suggest you use a manual screwdriver. Do not use any kind of battery-powered or electric screwdriver uh, doing this, okay? Um, and we're just going to take these four screws out of the top. All right. Now, once we get those screws out, that top plate comes right off, okay? Now, I do pretty regular maintenance on this, so so my fan and everything is not real bad right now. Um, but what you're gonna do from here, once you have that top off, is, is you're just gonna pull up on this fan a little bit. Be very careful because there are two wires on this fan right here, that black and that red, that go down to the circuit board back behind here uh, and they're and they're plugged in and you don't want to break those or anything. So I, once once you get it like that, you can just you can just gently pull it up. Okay. Now you have it. What I, what I like to do is when I'm doing this is I like to try and hold on to that so it's not just hanging by those wires. I don't want those wires to fray or break or anything like that. Okay. Now you have this plate right here. That guy comes right out. Now you see the the two indents here, and and here, those match the screw holes on your casing for your laser module right there and there. So when you put that on, and it doesn't matter which way you put it back on. I mean, but as far as top to bottom, but it does matter where those are. Okay. So what I want to do? Oh, one thing I forgot. We need our chip brush so i take a brand new clean chip brush uh, a smaller one will work better than than this this two inch one i get these by bulk so these are just the ones that i use okay now what i want to do is i'm going to gently i mean gently i'm not mashing it down i'm just gently rubbing in here and it breaks up some of that stuff. I, I mean, I live in a humid climate, so the dust really clings good here. So I just like to do that, break that up, and I come in here, being real gentle. The, the fan blades on this are very, very thin plastic, so I'm just being very gentle rubbing that. And then I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to get it from the top. Okay. That breaks up most of that big stuff. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Q-tip 
and you can see my fan blades got some buildup on them here and I'm just gonna gently I'm gonna take that q-tip and I'm gonna try and break that big stuff up I'm, I'm not putting a lot of pressure here because I don't want to break one of those blades and have to buy a new fan so just gently rubbing, just breaking that stuff up. And you can see, I mean, I'm not using any chemical on this. No liquids. Now once I've done that, then I can get the top. We'll try and break all this stuff up so it doesn't break off of here at some point and then settle down into where the laser module is or anything like that. Just trying to get as clean as possible. And then I get around the sides. I put this in between the fan blades just like this and I rub all the way around. Okay. Breaking the stuff up on the sides of the housing for the fan blade. All right. So now I broke all that up. I'm going to take my compressed gas. Now, I'm going to I'm going to tell you why I used compressed gas, okay? Now, I mean, these are like 8 bucks at, at Walmart if you buy one can. They're cheaper if you buy more. But I'm sure you can get them cheaper on Amazon, but you don't really need that much. Um the reason I used compressed gas as opposed to a compressor, like an air compressor, um like I said, I live in a humid climate, and when you turn your compressor on and, and, it's, and it's compressing all that air and putting it into the tank, you're getting all that humidity as well. So unless your compressor, or you know for a fact, your compressor has a air, water, oil separator, um, you don't want to use a compressor because you can take a spray nozzle on the end of a compressor tube and spray it, and you will actually have water mixed in with that air and be spraying water you know onto all your electronics in here your circuit board you know here your circuit board here uh it, and i really don't suggest that so unless you know you have a, a water separator or water oil separator on your compressor i would not use a compressor i would just get compressed gas same thing you can't clean a keyboard with okay now with that done, that there is one other thing that, that can be done, but I do not suggest this. Um, you have four holes here, uh, and below these holes are two screws here and then two screws here. But in between the holes and the screws here are the circuit board for the module, okay? Which you can see right there, okay? That's it's this guy right here, all right? you have to actually remove that circuit board in order to get to these two screws to pull that module out. If you are not familiar with, with doing stuff like this, do not do that, okay? You're, you're gonna get this thing clean enough that you don't, you don't need to take that module out. You're not trying to replace the laser uh, or anything. So leave that just like that, okay? So now that I've got everything all, all brushed and cleaned off with my q-tips now i'm going to take my compressed gas and i'm going to spray all that crap out of there okay that's it. That's all. That's all I need. I mean, I've I've already cleaned this thing five or six times on this, and I've still got quite a bit left in here. If you do it on a regular basis, you're not going to use a ton of this. You're only going to need, you know, just a little bit like that. And you can probably clean this thing once a month or once every couple of weeks for a year on one can of compressed gas. Okay, depending on. And I I use my my laser a ton every day. So now that we've got that done. The, you have this bottom plate that goes on top of the circuit board for the laser module. And then you've got your top plate. 
and you can see how I've got some some rings here. I mean, I've got everything off of there. You know, it's not bad, but it is stained. So I mean, if you want, you can take some some just some dish detergent and water, go and and wash these. Uh, if you do that, make sure that they are 100% dry before you put them back on your laser module. You don't want not one drop of water getting on onto your laser module or, or your circuit board or anything like that. So I just dry wipe them. All I'm going to do is I, I'll take the corner of my microfiber. And I just wipe them off. You know, a couple of little marks aren't going to bother me a whole lot. Like this one. Just a little rub. And you can see, I mean, it gets that, it gets that stuff good enough. You don't have to wash this if you don't want to. Now. We're all done with the cleaning. Now we're going to put it back together. So this plate that goes on top of your laser module itself, the laser itself, it does not matter which way it goes uh, up or down. The only thing that matters is that your screw holes line up. Now this, I can obviously tell which way this was sitting. So I'm just going to put it back the same way. But I just want to make sure that, that the two indents right here on this match where my screw holes are right here so i'm going to set that in there and make sure that it's set properly now i'm going to take my fan and i'm going to put my fan back in now when i go to put this fan back in okay do not whatever you do do not push on the fan blade itself push on the corners and you can push that thing right in. I'm going to push it in nice and firm right here on those two corners. And then I'm going to go to these two corners and I'm going to push down and it is all the way in. Again, don't push the center of the fan and try and push this thing into position. Right here on where the screw holes are on that molded plastic there. All right. Now, here is our very top piece with our wire harness uh, holder right here. There is a specific way this goes. Okay, number one, okay, the wires go in this way on your wire harness. But the, the correct way, and you'll also notice that the holes on this are just, just look like regular holes on one side. But on the other side, they are beveled. This is the top side. The, the bevel side is the top side. So... We'll put that back on. It's in place. Now all I got to do is take my four screws. I'm going to put my four screws in there. We're going to hold it in place. I'm going to hold my screwdriver in place with one finger and I'm only turning it with two and that's how I'm going to tighten it with two fingers. You do not need to over tighten this. You'll strip the screws. So I'm going to get that just to where it's a little snug. And then I'm going to go opposite corner. You know, I'm sure you don't have to. I just do this out of habit. Make sure everything's even before it gets all completely tightened. Snug there. And then the fourth screw. snug. I'm going to go back to the first one. And that's it for that. So now your laser is your laser module is all clean. We got all the dirt out of there. Our fans clean, our plates clean. The only thing we have left to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to clean our laser lens. I'm sorry, our laser lens protective cover. Now, do that. So this is our protective cover right here. This is not the actual laser lens. It's just a piece of glass in here. That 
is our laser lens, which we are not going to touch. Okay, so with this, all I need is my Q-tip, and I've done this in other videos, so I'm sorry if it's repetitive, but this is the whole process here. So a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Okay, whoops. Isopropyl alcohol on a cotton swab. You can use a cotton ball or a Q-tip, whatever you want. And I'm just going to rub on that lens. I'm not rubbing hard. I'm just getting it on there, twisting it as I turn it, just to make sure I got all that junk off. Now I can take the dry end. Grab another Q-tip. Get the top side. Making sure it's dry. Then I go to the bottom. Now, if you're not wearing rubber gloves, I would suggest that you be very careful with touching this with your hands after while you're cleaning it. Uh, if you have if you have rubber gloves, um, I would I would wear them. So now I'm just gently rubbing, buffing out whatever streaks might be left in there. And once I am I am satisfied that I am streak free and without a light reflection on it, it looks like there's nothing in there. That is good. And then I'm going to take that and we're going to screw that back on to the module. Okay, so that is all done. Now all we have to do is we're going to take this, we're going to plug our laser back in uh, after we hook up our module, get it set in place, plug our laser back in, turn it on, make sure everything comes on and works, and we are all good. All right, so for the last thing we're gonna do, this is our plug that plugs into the back of our laser module. You can see how filthy dirty it is. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that lightly with the brush a little bit. Making sure that those, all that stays clean. Now I'll take my compressed air. Just like that. Now, here's our laser module. We're going to take that, get it plugged in until it clicks. Run our wiring harness back through there. Plug it in. And there we have it. All done. So maintenance really isn't that easy, that, that hard. It takes a couple of minutes every couple of weeks, cleaning your laser lens off, your, your protective laser lens cover off every four or five hours of burn time. And that's going to keep your laser running nice and smooth. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we will see you guys in the next video.